<laughs> the best part is I even heard you even say you need to add delay. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, who banned what? Okay. So okay. I believe it's TTU Gold had first ban. <laughs> City. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, T2, <clears throat> T2 Varsity had Jacal. Had Legion. It's gonna be Thatcher. Echo. Wait, hang on. Change the title in just a second of the stream. Um, and to update the scoreboard real quick. Pop. We are getting that nice lead start. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just. Don't worry, it's Monday morning. <laughs> Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. All right. Oh my lord. I'm so sorry, guys. I just I wasn't planning on doing one, but like it's been it became kind of a joke that Tennessee Tech always ca calls for a cast and then immediately can't make it because of something happening with the other team. And I just wanted to make sure that Tennessee got at least one stream. Hey, you know what though? The curse came in with the first round already starting by the time we get everything set up. And it looks like we will be having, I believe that, oh god, I already forgot which things, which I believe that is ISU on defense. Yes? Yes. Yes. And uh, Tennessee Tech will be on attack. As uh, we'll be trying to take over top floor here, bringing in the Ash, Thermite, Nomad, Sophie, and Capital. It'll be interesting to see how they use the Capital to figure out some nice angles from the Maybe from the ceiling and fire out some people hiding around. This round will already get into going. And it looks like the defenders still moving around trying to set up a little bit. Make sure everything's fine. But they are kind of risking it a little bit. Just running around all over the sky or the freezer there. You can see the hatch is getting blown up. And uh, Nomad already starting to get ready to just peek from above. Gonna throw the flashbang. Here's the eight Jaeger ADS going off, and gonna see if we can try to burn it. And we'll actually instead just get the flash thrown fully out. Jaeger as well, just playing from below, trying to watch if anyone drops some skylight, trying to get a quick kill. If he grabbed that nice headshot, and Nuyen actually playing from uh, cigar shop on top of the hatch as well. Looks we'll like he's gonna be get droned out here, and things might get a little bit worrisome for him if any one of the soft creatures go below and break open the hatch. So I'm liking more or less with a Rook is standing just in Cigar Shop right here. It's a very powerful position that gets him a lot of flexibility for what angles he can peek onto the attackers when they where they drop, whether it be red or it, whether it be balcony. Same time, looks like they've already opened up Cigar. Major TTU is gonna start us off with a headshot onto Bear Paw. And uh, as you can see, the Rook's positioning is going to start to pay off a little bit, but unfortunately, we will get gunned down immediately by the Capital as I say that. And Stay hit him course. with the classic commentator curse. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And it looks like Sword Asian is going to come in, but then immediately back off. This is a dire situation. One minute left, and it's already a 5v2 for Tennessee Tech. Yeah, really good start here for Tennessee Tech, especially on a top four take, which is one of the hardest sites to take uh, as there is not that many interests to get in. It looks like we'll be taking down one more and it's just down to a 5v1. Mozzie gonna have to clutch it out here and things aren't looking too oh. well for him. But, oh man, the Nomad charge is just gonna blast him, giving out his position a little bit. Looks like he will be trying to rotate a little bit, maybe try to go from a different way. And they actually, the attackers here also putting down a blasting charge onto this uh, diffuser so they could get an angle from below a little bit, looks like. I think he's like gonna Moss come back up white. 
Oh, just gonna what? pick out Sandwich uh, with a headshot, but immediately going to get taken down by Major.TTU. Yeah, really good try there. He was able to get at least his foot in the door with a kill, but then unfortunately, Ash was just on the other side waiting for him to finish getting up the stairs and took him out. Now it looks like round two. Gonna be heading back to Cocktail Bar again. You gonna try to maybe readjust their setup and uh, try to adjust to how the attack attacking team of Tennessee Tech was able to push in. As you can see, Ash here just picking off three kills, doing her job as a, a dedicated frager. That entry frag is definitely been was powerful that last round. It granted Tennessee a lot of room on. Uh, <clears throat> Rent to Tennessee, a lot of uh, wiggle room just in taking second floor. Let me just up the volume here because people are do want more volume. Yeah, going to be kind of interesting to see if uh, I believe the other team. Sorry, correct me if I'm wrong. It's Iowa State, right? Yes, Iowa State. Right. Defender Looks like uh, Iowa State's going to need to pull a little bit of adjustments there as well because the Ash just was able to take so much lead with just getting three kills with the, almost within like seconds of the of the attacker starting to push in you're definitely gonna need a little bit more of a uh, a little bit of a change up on maybe even just maybe they might even just try uh, keep things the same and kind of call that round a warm-up round but they aren't able to adjust properly things might not be uh, looking too good for them As you can see here, round just about to start. Putting down the last reinforcements. Cafe is a kind of interesting map right now as well, because not a lot of teams have been picking it, and it's been very. Or not. I, I, actually, more teams have actually been picking this than Villa, so I'm a little bit surprised by that. It's it's because Cafe is a much more familiar ground. Like you can sort of still uh, apply some of the same uh, strategies on second floor, so. And the entire it, the entire rework has just made it a little bit more tactical, and so the familiarity combi combined with the fact that people already have some strats make it much more desirable to Villa, in my opinion. Yeah, you're definitely not wrong. The familiarity of this map being in the game since a long time ago really kind of allows people to just feel a little bit more comfortable. It looks like that. Uh, Piano wall not being reinforced at all will get blasted immediately by the Sophia. Could this or, actually be a trap if since they didn't uh, reinforce that wall? It looks like they're trying to funnel t Tennessee through here. It's gonna be kind of interesting. You see Bearpaw just hiding behind the piano there, getting ready to just start shooting through uh, straight through. But uh, Tennessee will be droning out first, trying to figure out where they can get a little bit of a uh, initial information, and you know, just trying to hide out there behind. Oh, this the is piano. new. Just trying to hold up. Oh yeah, you can if you uh I believe you have to start on the vent side and then you just run immediately onto the back part of that wall of the, the skylight. You're able to see straight down. Unfortunately you're not able to capitalize too much on angles from that position. And if you oh. immediately jump down had it, you were dead. And it looks like Ch uh Bear Paw will be dead as well from the headshot from Chuck. As you can see here, Rook just playing inside that uh freezer, just playing it safe. Maestro also just playing on the that is cocktail ball and looks like they will begin to breach down into freezer leaving uh the rook a little bit more of a scary positioning but he does know that uh he does have the fact of uh the defenders having or attackers having a little bit more limited intel is able to hide out but it looks like he will get spotted out uh, getting shot right through the wall and it looks like chuck will be taking down nuyen oh this is a fight against maestro here and major's gonna go in get the headshot on aaron hey aaron <laughs> Is it a Aaron? Is this, is this... Aaron? <laughs> oh my lord! It's down to Helix once again, and he finds the thermite. One. It looks the like he will be trying to go for that sandwich. C4 attack there. He finds sandwich Doesn't... again and almost gets him. Oh, and he oh, runs right into Major. <laughs> Major just really going in and being able to get all these uh, nice entry kills. As you can see here, took the entire uh, took the entire site by storm, and then immediately runs down below as the Ash gets spot out, getting ready for a flank or catching him off on the rotate. I like how Major basically predicted the route that Helix was going to take. Uh, 
or immediately catching on to one of his uh, habits, which is if he gets spotted out, he tries to come in from the other side. Doesn't try to push the same place where he's been spotted. Um, basically because he knows, you know, every single attacker is going to come down there and try to take him out. But Also, interesting to see here, instead of, uh, usually teams after failing to hold upstairs, they would probably go something like Kitchen, as that is the... I would say probably more common place to try to hold, have a secondary hold. Instead, they opt for a reading room fireplace. It's going to be kind of interesting to see what setup they're bringing out here if they're more confident on uh, fighting on reading room and fireplace. Yeah, that's a, that's a between side, isn't it? Oh, no, never mind. Okay, I was thinking of the added spot in consulate for some reason. <laughs> it's That's definitely not here. Yeah, this site's a... Uh, a little it's... bit more interesting to hold because the, the verticality is still a factor in this uh, position, but I would s like on the reading room side, it's a little bit harder to grab it as the freezer is pretty much around where the hall is. And then I believe it's right above on that deck there will be inside the site. But if you try to make, you know, too many holes around there, it's a pretty open area. You're kind of prone to getting flanked. And the other side as well in reading is a little bit more safe, or on fireplace, sorry, it's a little bit more safer, but I do believe that's actually brick, and you can't actually sludge through it. So it's going to be a little bit interesting to see how the attack comes. Also, Capcam being picked, going to be playing down mines, see if you catch any of the uh, attackers just not looking both ways for the crossing. Definitely trying to find out whether or not uh, Major's weakness is going to be those Capcam traps. Mainly... Because it is a common counter for um, entry packers for people to just put down Capcan traps, expecting to at least get some damage down. Pre-fire onto the ping. Gonna see if he can get a headshot or at least some damage going in, but doesn't look like he's gonna get any hits in there. As the attackers already just drawing on top floor, trying to grab what intel they can. As they did bring a sledge, they are prepared to uh, to fight the vertical uh, angles. Let's see, Sword Asian here just playing onto the windows, trying to hold out and uh, get more control of piano side. As Helix Ooh. and Nature side by side, just waiting to for one to peek the other. And if, uh, as you can see, Helix still has all three Grismont mines. So there is no cut cushion to the oh. way there. Major gonna crouch peek through, and the flashbangs will assist them in getting the kill. One more as Detective Jared comes up the stairs and will get headshotted by Major. <laughs> that right there is the entire top floor for the attackers. <laughs> Yep, and now they have Device free room to just open up the floor and start shooting down onto site. In fact, they could actually grab a couple hatches as well, as they're doing right now, in order to have more entry points into site. Well, yeah, and this is the good old fun part for the defenders, where the sludge starts playing Minecraft, breaking every single thing on the roof, stop it, causing them to their life to be <laughs> giant hell. As you can see, Bearpaw is seeing the hammer getting slammed onto the floor. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he got any of those shots off on and got them to connect. And it's... Nguyen just holding out inside of reading room here as well. Does the sledge need a diamond? Oh! Okay, I cannot Nguyen. Oh! oh he tried I... to fight back. Oh, that's it major like... on inside already! He just walked right in there as the sledge had a nice distraction for him, just smashing the entire rooftops. Manages to sneak himself in there between Ooh. the loud amount of noise. Now just down to Capcan Kaid. Trying to hold out a little bit. Looks like Capcan will get take it down in Kaid shortly after as the attackers just manage to watch every single angle. As you can see here there is no real way to for them to push out without ending up in a gunfight as they did have the entire mining side uh, Major, surrounded. Major is three rounds in and already has about three kills every round every single round. That's that's insane. And he has zero deaths. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, Major really bringing it in for his team, and I think at this point, ICU just needs to get a little bit more of a momentum going for themselves, as I think just because this is, like, you know, late at night match, and then it's also the first map, I think they might be just a little bit rusty, and just need a little bit warming up to get more uh, custom things, and they just need to find that momentum within one round to be able to fight back. I forget. Let me take a quick look at the standings. I don't remember because I don't have everything uh, <laughs> memorized anymore since we've gone to so many... Where, uh... I don't even remember where I put my... 
that's great. <laughs> I used to be able to like uh, name teams by uh, by memory and like know exactly who was on what team. And now that we have like 60 teams in the league, I can't do that anymore, and I feel bad. Hey, it's a good thing though, because then now you you can see the you can feel the growth of the league as it's growing, you know. Because that like most definitely between years, there has been a lot more teams coming in and open, and I'm I'm actually like I'm not American, so when I see all these acronyms, I get confused in it. I'm learning where I'm le slowly learning American geography through this league. <laughs> Well, before, this previous season was more like you were learning the geography of the East Coast, but now we seem to have gone more towards the center of the country. And we're learning a lot more about some central states. Although, it should be noted that we have San Jose and Arizona State uh, in Invite League, so... Take, take what I say with a bit of grain, with a little <laughs> grain of salt. Yeah, for sure. As you can see, the attacker's already starting to drone on top floor, trying to get control again. And Antidote just playing right here on this nice, I guess that would be a AC machine, and trying to get the angle on White so that immediately as the attackers start pushing up the top floor, he can cut off that entire rotate onto White stairs and be able to Ooh, watch it from outside. I like Detective this angle. Derek playing below onto Brown stairs here. Gonna be trying to catch anyone on the window or coming down the vault. Sorry, the hatch again. Yeah. Bearpaw just playing the anchor's dream of just spinning the camera around while his uh, camera guy is already on cams. You know, got people watching angles, but realistically, he's the last one to get attacked. You're just having a nice chill time in this afternoon, and it looks like Major will be dropping in immediately onto Skylight. A little bit of a risky jump there, but with the amount of drone work that went out, he knew it was safe, and is now starting to just push up by storm. You still got Antidote sitting here watching the staircase for anyone to rotate up as last time. They did have two people try to rotate up the stairs, and we will be seeing one of them playing on the lower part half of the stairs with Detective Derek, and also, I believe that is Helix on the other red staircase as well. I don't find any planks, but it looks like they're, that uh, Tennessee is just going to have free roam of the top floor. No one's going to actually dare to come back upstairs to try and flank them. Yeah, a little risky too, because there is a nomad in play. So once that nomad gets set up, there there won't be any flanks that are almost any necessary at all. Sandwich's drone is just gonna miss, I believe, Detective Derek. Yes, that is Detective Derek, and Bear Paul is gonna take some damage from upstairs. Well, Helix is going for the flank here. Antidote's gonna pick up. I cannot again. I can't. I cannot Nguyen. pronounce that. <laughs> Nguyen. <laughs> okay. Looks like Nguyen. Oh, it looks like Detective Derek almost getting a double, but instead we'll just down one. Major uh, getting the refrag and uh, plant going down by the, I believe that is the Nomad there. Sword of Asian just playing inside of uh, Reading and Fireplace there, trying to get a little bit of angle on, on anyone trying to retake the site from that side. As Helix will be coming downstairs and he has to 1v5 again. Oh. And down will go Helix as he got shot out immediately from uh, Major, just hiding behind this couch waiting for it, and here it is. Major has some serious reaction time right there. Yeah, he's, the, the TTU altogether, I think that's the second fall this round. Maybe even, no, definitely more than, uh, definitely one kill went on, um, sorry, I see you side already. But yeah, that's at very least the second flawless round from TTU. Very strong showing here. As you can see, only one kill on ISU side, looking a little bit weaker here, but they can, it's still not too late to pull it back as it is 4-0, and, you know, it's never over till it's over. Yeah, that's true. Look, it looks... Uh, well, okay. I can't... I probably find the... Oh, wow. I forgot to send out the stream announcement. Whoop. <laughs> it looks like we'll be going back fireplace mining room here as uh i see trying to pull it back and at least get themselves around or some momentum at the very least 30 seconds on the preparations we see Rook putting his armor down a little bit late but it's okay whoever needs the armor will get the armor as uh kaiden 
Maverick are up there, or sorry, Mozzie up, are just up there just reinforcing the hatches. I'm gonna go ahead and at least commend Helix on being the last one alive every round. Because um, he's managing to at least avoid the gunfights to try and stay alive to at least contest the, the point once it's planted. At the same time, it's a little bit of a sticky situation since a lot of things are kind of going wrong in the side of ISU. And you could, like, it, although he is the last one alive every single round, it, it could also be the fact that he might not be pushing in a, just on time as he needs to for the flank. But, I mean, it's all really a matter of perspective, and at the same time, it, it could go either way. That's true. Well, ET is turning off with their routine ha uh, rooftop take. Looks like they're. They pretty much have this uh, down to a science where they take the third floor and then they use that leverage to take the rest of the building. And it looks like <laughs> Major. Ooh. Just hot dropping immediately from Skylight. No fear at all. He is feeling himself today. He has, he has had his rogue energy and he's ready to just jump right into sight. By the way, if you do go uh, to Rogue Energy's website and start buying uh, any of their drinks, you can use code CA. Hang on, headshot! No, Major's oh, gonna miss like that one. Cade will be getting away and being able to fight another fight unscathed from that, as Major does take 50% health. Really good trade for uh, Cade there. And you can see Antidote also playing on the window there. Unfortunately, didn't able to get the shot on the Cade as he was running right away into those staircases. Sledge already starting up the Minecraft house, making sure that there is enough defenses and. Uh, Nice little breach holes for the uh, defenders to have way through as Major will be able to walk through. And it looks like Sandwich will be taking down Detective Derek as Major running in, getting the headshot on Bear Paw. And it is now down to a 5v2 for TTU. That's the evil light going to be gone right there with that final breaching round used up for Ash. That's going to be that for utility off the. Off, off the. Ugh. I don't remember the word. Sort of off the gonna, Maestro? Off the Maestro. <laughs> yep, the utility of the maestro is just gone as Soda Asian burns to death. Uh, well, burns someone careful. to death. Yeah, <laughs> and this time it's actually a Aaron that's alive. Does he not? Wait, I'm trying to get oh, the shot on. God. Unfortunately, will not get the headshot right on to. I believe that was the Sword Capitel Asian. upstairs with Sword of Asian. Oh, he had see. the drop on him and everything. Unfortunately, did not. Uh, it was not able to land a nice headshot onto the Capitao and we'll be going down 5-0 for a TTU now. Whew. TTU really has this map down to a pat. Like I said, yeah. they, they always take rooftop, they always open up those hatches, and they heavily drone the third floor to try and take it so that they can leverage the rest of the building. Yeah, every single round has been consistent with that, and I mean, for the most part, they have been going th uh, third floor and second floor of the sites, and I don't think I've actually seen a kitchen hold just no, yet. No, there has in. been no kitchen hold coming out from ISU at all. Also, to my amazement, I think I'm going to see the first Frost hard picked and not even six picked off of. Kind of something I don't see that often, and it always surprises me because every time I get excited, like, oh, am I going to see some Frost mats? And then out of nowhere, it's just like, I only got six picked. I don't know what I was expecting. As many bombs as they can. 12 kills. Never. It looks like Major did slow down a bit. Yeah, his team's been definitely uh, doing some good work as they have been cutting off rotates and just been really being able to uh, fire out and smoke out every single defender out of their positioning. And looks like they're going to be trying to bring Frost here in particular just to kind of slow down the push from coming in from TTU. As, as you can see before, every single round, Major's just been dropping in straight from the hatch and no care whatsoever, just w r walking right up to the att defenders like a true ash me. I think this time they are going to go ahead and reinforce the cigar lounge wall. Meanwhile, Helix is actually going for a spawn peek here. It looks like the d def our attackers will be running the other way and look doesn't look like Helix is going to get too much action from this window as they do uh, recognize that there was a spawn peek attempt and shoot the window. He looks actually very dangerously as well, hugging that window that could potentially get sprayed. Looks like he will be tearing it down, trying to go for another spawn peek in to spawn, but unfortunately at this point, all the attackers are on the roof and he's not going to be able to catch any kills. 
Oh, that's unfortunate for him. But anyways, it, this might mean that uh, Helix is uh, going a little bit more aggressive on his plays, which is probably the changeup that we wanted uh, and that we observed was probably why he wasn't being as aggressive and therefore he wasn't, uh, he was always last alive. I know Helix has a good track record for fighting for his gunfights in other game in other matches I've seen him play in. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to just take a lot more of aggressive like sight Ooh. hold here as he will get the shot onto Sword Evasion, giving his team a little bit of hope and uh, pulling it back for them and kind of showing them that it is not too late to call it out as he is going to get the shot onto Major as Major does take down Detective Derek in the process. Now down to a 3v4, still in a good position for the defenders as you don't really need to put too much effort into defending as you do attacking. As you can see, your Chuck, oh. you're going to be taking down Helix, unfortunately. And now it's just going to be down to a 3v3, bringing things nice and even. Those two those two kills by Helix, though, were very important, though, as it was sort of Asian and Major that were taken down. Two of the highest kill, kill players right now from Tennessee. And Tennessee is going to move in onto the head of... I cannot get... How do you say that again? Nguyen. Nguyen. Okay. I cannot Nguyen. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Sandwich will begin to plant down as, as uh, the oh. Frost Mat will be taking down Nomad. And now the plan is going down. Bite Show is playing really nice and close, knowing the, the Thermites there are going to be taking down Sandwich. Now just down to the Sledges. They may, oh, it Ooh. looks like Sledge will begin to shot onto the, th uh, sorry, the Maestro. And trying to get a little bit of a shot onto the Frost there. Leaving her very low, but so is he is. His health is very low, and as you see, Bear Papa just trying to play aggro, trying to get rid of him quickly before the timer runs too low, and it looks like uh, Sledge is going to play passively as they probably have a drone or something to watch. Oh, actually, Nomad is still alive watching the diffuser. Oh! And unfortunately, Frost will be get caught in a rush as uh, they go for the diffuser, and the round goes to Tennessee Tech there. Yeah, Nomad actually still being alive from that Frost mat. I'm pretty sure... Uh, the Nomad was able to give the intel about if they were defusing or not, as it would be very obvious, even though you're hearing all the death sounds and your vision's getting blurred. Yeah, I I don't know how much information you, the end. I don't know how much information you can give because by the time you're at what like a quarter health in the frost mat, you basically can't see and you're pretty much deafened. Well, true. Right. You can also kind of look for like any changes on your screen or like even the slightest of a blur moving is probably a decent indication, but. Off of the time that uh, they knew that they weren't on this uh, on the diffuser just yet, they were able to just know that they could probably isolate themselves a little bit further back and kind of just play a little bit more passive. And if anything, the nomad will probably die before the diffuser goes off or gets diffused. And it looks like this time we will be having ISU on attack, and hopefully, their attack is able to. Uh, take down the defense of TTU as they need to pull it back here as it is match point for Tennessee Tech already and they need to They really need to bring it back here as they get that momentum shift Looks like Chuck is gonna need to go for another wall to reinforce as uh, Sandwich just started up on that one instead yeah, Also bringing the mirror onto this map, which is a little bit interesting as uh, I don't know I like I feel like mirror is one of those Picks in this one that are well, in this mirror, that... mirror is part of one of the more classic uh, strategies here, which is pretty much just opening up this wall here into freezer and trying to look maybe towards all the way into cigar by opening up just like yep, like right there, just height level holes so that you can shoot through the wall, do a mirror peek. Yeah, for oh. sure. It's gonna be interesting to see if they're able to pull off strong kills here and and the. Uh, Really show off the power that Mira can still bring when she isn't banned for like the one game in a billion. Just gonna open up a little bit of a peek here outside onto outside of Cocktail Lounge onto <clears throat> what is that air conditioning? I, it's, I don't know what to call that either, but <laughs> like doesn't look like any of the attackers are gonna be going in that direction as they opt to instead just go straight to the rooftop and not really risk the getting caught out by any Valkyrie. Looks like, yeah, they're nice Valkyrie cam spots. Actually watching the mirror in the hallway as well, trying to give her some cover. 
if uh, she starts to feel a little this bit paranoid. Is, this is a max information setup right now. You've got the mirror windows, you've got the Valcams, and you've got the Maestro Evil Eyes taking down any... And also you've got the information denial coming out from uh, Ute. Yeah, Mew and Jaeger as well, because Jaeger, you, if you can uh, hear those ADSs going off, you can kind of start to predict where they're coming from if you're not near it. Yeah. And also allow yourself to play a little bit more aggro. You see Sandwich down for, uh, in second floor, just waiting for someone on the attacker side to start pushing in and be able to catch them off with either a C4 or maybe even a shot from below. This is really min-maxing the, the available information that Tennessee can work with. Sorry, this is maxing Tennessee's information and minimizing uh, ISU's information completely. Yeah, and it's, things are going to be looking a little bit uh, scary here as it's a minute 20 seconds left, not too much time on the clock, and ISU's going to have to start making a move sooner. They're going to run out of time. They are, are making moves from red into Cigar. Yeah, breaking open that off. piano wall. I'm uh, going to be noticing that Maestro, uh, Maestro Graham's going to be noticing that Nomad as well pushing up. Information is going to be going out. And Major going to get the long shot onto Nui and all the way from the other side of the balcony. It looks like they're going to try to get the defuse and run. Nomad picking it up with the cost of a little bit of health. Helix taking down Chuck with that headshot. And Detective Derek and Zofia currently playing behind here in Cigar Shop, trying to get a little bit of a footing and try to get a peek onto the Maestro all the way from across the room. And as you can see there, the Valkyrie still playing below, waiting for the right time to just push in and flank. Knowing there's a Nomad and having to just play this just right, and it looks like we'll be taking down Helix playing uh, Hibana here. Just the control from uh, Tennessee Tech here as they watch all these long angles and really being able to uh, keep uh, ISU just stuck in just behind cover. And as you can see here, Sophia starting to push up, realizing there's 10 seconds left on the clock. The move, ne the place needs to be ha start happening now. As the fuser is starting to be planted out, Gridlock just immediately mining out the immediate area to prevent anyone from getting to the bomb in time. And it looks like the plant will be going down as uh, both of them playing inside a freezer here. And it looks like they will be taking down too as Detective Derek and Bearpaw go down. Now just leaving it up to Aaron, playing in the other bomb site from afar, waiting for the intel to kind of call for him to push Ooh. up. As <gasps> you're just gonna get caught out here from Aaron and. Antidote going to be pushing up as he should be hearing the defu- Oh no, actually going to stop defusing as they start hearing him coming up as well. But it looks like he will get taken down from over the bar table and the first map will go to Tennessee Tech. I will say though, although Tennessee Tech do take uh, map one, the attack from ISU there actually started looking a lot better than their defense rounds and you know, possibly just a lot more comfortable on their attack than defense. Yeah, no, definitely. All right, looks like I can. You just, just you say the name. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like uh, Tennessee Tech will be uh, taking map one with Major as the nice MVP, and uh, they will be calling for a uh, five-minute break as you know the players need to use the washroom, uh, to catch a nice cup of uh, water, and you know, refresh for the next one. So yeah, we'll just be back in about five minutes after a short five minute break and uh, stay tuned. Right back.
TTU versus ISU Gold. <laughs> it looks like we'll be going on coastline, and if I'm correct, this is uh, Iowa State's pick, so this is definitely their time to bring it back and shine and show what they're made of. So I'm going to need to apologize to you. You want to know what I did? Go on. I never set your name. That's fine. Yeah, but you're known as Bonsai now. Yeah, I'm Bonsai. Let me just change my voice a little bit more, and I think I could probably nail the impression. <laughs> Lord, give me a second. I... <laughs> What's this your now what's your what's your favorite operator? Uh, just go with like literally any of them. Like, there's almost no wrong answer. Just go with Castle. Castle. Yeah, I cosplayed it as him once. It's good, good enough. All right, and I'm gonna give myself. I'm just gonna name myself Duke Farce because I'm doing so bad today, and <laughs> give myself Happy. Yeah, Dow. this is this is not Duke Card Chase. I mean, this is now Duke Farce, Duke's twin brother. Uh, definitely nowhere near. Uh, the streaming skills of that Duke Karch can pull off. Don't don't mind anything here. <laughs> Looks like we'll be going into ban phase as well as uh, I'm quite able to see the bans, but I'm just gonna go ahead and guess it's going to be. Oh wow, and Blackbeard. Okay, was not gonna guess that. Well, I'm wrong. Uh, that's probably gonna be a Jackal, and then I'm gonna see a Mira, and then I'm gonna see an Echo. No Ash. Ash <laughs> getting banned. That's a, no more that's, fun that, for Major. That's a little reactionary. I'm gonna say. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like, Major was going in with Ash, getting, like, two, three kills per round, and really uh, giving, oh, sorry, Tennessee Tech the edge there, and it looks like uh, Mira will get banned here, as well as there are a lot more of uh, annoying spots to fight when you're uh, in this map with Mira. Looks like last ban for uh, Tennessee Tech and Pulse will get banned. Getting rid of that verticality, C4, Havoc, and uh, kind of letting them play a little bit less, uh, a little bit less uh, pressure on uh, lower floor holds from the, uh, sorry, for the defenders to be just sitting on lower floor and really just waiting from below I to get that last second C4. Kel, I've wronged you again. Oh boy. I wrote it with two L's. Nah, it's good enough, honestly. <laughs> I mean, my in-game name is a 2 L. It's accurate enough. <laughs> I mean, I guess. All right. That's yeah, e either or. Either or. Either or. It's not like I have a Twitter or anything anyway, so it doesn't really link to anything. And we'll be seeing a uh, nice kitchen service hold here. Starting off from uh, Tennessee Tech here. Hopefully, considering the last map, I think that might be better for Iowa State here as their attack did go a lot better than their defense. Sorry, I was just... I, I want to make a, a shout out to the Drakex for just introducing me to basically what he has is a library of copy pastas, and I'm... <laughs> I like every time I look to the third screen, to my third screen, and I see Twitch chat, and there he is, Drake, just... With a new yeah, copy gotta, pasta, and it's just like you gotta get your copy pastas ready. It's does, not a C stream until there's copy pastas flying in does, chat. Does he have like index cards, like digital index cards that he just copy paste them from? Does he have like a macro that instantly put, paste it on there? Yeah, like you know how there's like X amount of keys on a keyboard. Yeah, they all just correspond to a different copy pasta. Oh wait, have you ever seen the emoji keyboard? Uh, I think I have, unfortunately, by the sound, the description of what that sounds like. The massive keyboard made by Tom Scott in order to just show us how many emojis really exist. Oh no. I think that thing had to be massive. He had like 27 different keyboards all hooked up yeah. to one Lenovo machine. Like there's no way if that was like one solid device that you'd be able to lift up the whole thing. There's no way. There's way too many emojis. Yeah, no, they're they're all separate. There's like 27 different keyboards all just on one table and you can it, it goes from like man with a hat dancing to invisible man to I don't know, sad emoji. Also, kind of interesting of a setup there. Sorry, on Penthouse. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'd never seen that before. Like, they just shot open the entire wall there. It's like you watch the entire site from anywhere. I, I, I don't. That's the first time I've seen something like that. 
I mean, I don't get to play Caf uh, Coastline mm. as much often. Cause Did Chuck see that drone? I think he might have, but he's not going to be able to get the shot. I mean, oh. Oh. He's going to he's gonna stick the angle. He's going to fight it. Let's get that nice reload. And unfortunately, we'll get taken down. But, oh, wait. He's able to hide, though. Stall some time. Make, sure, make them second guess whether or not he's down or not. And as you can see here, the drone just trying to make sure if he's down or not. And... Yeah, they, they, they don't know, and it's going to stall them out for a good amount of time. Chuck just holding on for dear life as the attackers try to find him with the drone. They will see him in the corner. And as you see, just, just keep holding on. Don't give up. Major is there on the other side of the map to catch the reef. I guess they come for you. Have no fear. Is it that's uh, coming around the corner, though? I saw somebody maybe... Oh, it's a a Aaron. They droned him out. They know he's down. They're still hesitating a little bit to go catch him out. See Zofia here just slowly peeking around. We'll get the shot without peeking too far out for Major to get an angle. Major's still going to stick it, knowing the entire enemy team is within that half of the map as uh, the Intel would be able to go out with him. Aaron might get shot across the hall here, but unfortunately Major is not able to connect too much with anyone. He's going to be rotating all the way to the other side of the map. Sorry, to Billiards. Oh my goodness. It's been a long day. <laughs> it definitely has been a long day. Just trying to. Oh, and Major's gonna go ahead and pick up Helix with a headshot. 30 seconds left. ISU needs to start planting. What? Oh. Actually, throwing down concussions into, uh, into luggage and Andy Hall there. Kind of I think he's trying curious. to find where the roamer is, but isn't quite aware. Oh, he just sees Ooh. the orange head of Major and gets the headshot on him. Meanwhile, Sorta Asian back on site does manage to take down Bearpaw. And there is still an echo in play, which means that even if ISU can't tries to plant at this point, oh, Sword Asian is gonna peek up at the wrong time. Oh, sorry, Tennessee. Uh, the echo just able to get that last second kill, and the Mozzie from the other side also just gained the shot out. And at the very last second, the echo tried to get on his drones and die and concuss, but unfortunately. For uh, I Iowa State, they weren't even able to get the plant down, so the round will go to Tennessee Tech. I believe that is now 2-0 for ten. No, 1-0 for Tennessee. I'm a round ahead. Mm -hmm. It looks like uh, Detective Derek really picking up for Iowa State here this time with three kills on him on his own, and it looks like Tennessee Tech was a lot more spread on the kill distribution there. It's like he. There's a reason he he's the one like that picking Sophia. I can't talk today. Like every time I, I talk, I just trip over it as you know. I try to get any sort of thought out. Six pick, Sophia. So no. See, I just tripped. I just tripped in my head, <laughs> and now I'm gonna keep tripping in my head. That's it's it's a long day stream. <laughs> Oh, I, I forgot. IQ getting I forgot. Six picks right in there. <laughs> How do I forget the name of Nanobot Medic Lady? Pinka. Pinka, yes. You no, know, it's funny because literally not even like ten minutes ago, I also made a like mention that you put Pinka as your like display operator, and you still forget. Is this? Uh... <laughs> Looks like we'll be getting the uh, ho run back on hookah side. Wait, didn't ten it? Oh wait, no, it's kitchen side. Sorry, my bad. Look, the run uh, this time they're going to uh, hookah side to try to defend, and we'll be seeing the desert eagle with the silencer making a grand appearance here, as he will be able to get those silent high 50 caliber shots <laughs> into the drone right there, as you can see. The I'm damage. sorry. I'm sorry. That silencer is ridiculous on that gun. It's just. Funny, I don't. Right? I honestly do not understand how it works. <laughs> it's just like this really big tube on it, instead of like looking like a normal silencer. And I don't. <laughs> yeah, that thing's like that thing's known to be a bit of a hand cannon. It's just a, and they, they, it's find like, a way to put a silencer. It's like they added like a toilet paper tube to it. Like, I swear to God, in a video game, anytime you see like a Magnum with a silencer, it's like this giant like. <laughs> Like soup, like two times the size of like maybe like a six ply toilet paper roll right on top of the gun. And instead, we just see this little dinky suppressor on the like on the Desert Eagle there. It's always weird to look at. There's gonna push into VIP lounge here. 
The drone's just flying through, making sure they get the intel. Drone goes first, then the Zofia goes to peek it. Then making sure they're uh, keeping close with their timing here, as you can see. Ping will be going out on the Valkyrie oh. behind there, and unfortunately, Zofia will not be getting the shot as the as Chuck gets the headshot at the cost of a little bit of health, and we'll know that somebody's now bathroom as the uh, bullet trails kind of give out his mission a little bit more, and he's going to be playing passive here as letting the attackers push up. And it looks like Chuck will just be keep waiting. And Jaeger trying to push up from landing side, trying to give him a little bit of relief. And if he is able to get out, we'll have a way out. And it looks like Aaron will be taking down Chuck. And unfortunately, the Thermite will be going down by Sandwich all the way to Billiards. Jaeger's going to get another kill onto A. Aaron. A. Aaron. God dang it. Every single time, these names are getting me tonight. <laughs> I feel like you probably just could pronounce that one as Aaron. Aaron? All right. All right. If he, if he... I, I would assume so. I don't know, I'm probably gonna get angry pings later. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just really fighting the long angle, despite not having an ACOG on that Legion T5. Just putting down damage and putting Bearpaw in a s slightly worse position. Now Helix coming in to try and support him. Ooh. Almost running into the bullets. Firefight just going back and forth and it looks like they'll be getting a bit of a rotation to get out But unfortunately, it looks like major still on the other side waiting for the attacker to push up Sword of Asian actually playing the close angle with a shotgun and SMG 11 really good position for him to be in Especially with the smoke grenades being able to cut off both the entrances and kind of choking smoke oh. here as he's able to He looks oh, IQ getting smoked out and getting concussed and then runs straight into major unfortunately for he Helix there as uh, Tennessee will be taking that round Looks once again runs into Major, who was just watching the angle this time, not even predicting that he was gonna try and rotate through there. In fact, he looks at a bit of an unorthodox thing there. He pushed through the smoke to try and get a pe better position. <laughs> oh my sorry, on my screen, I have like the stream on my main monitor, and then mm -hmm. like in the corner of my eye in the left monitor is chat, <laughs> and all I see is Shrek. <laughs> Corner of my eye. I think peering over. I think there's a reason why um, Pro League Production doesn't let the casters see chat anymore. <laughs> and I think that's probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh my the god! The timing is actually just perfect. <laughs> you see, it's actually kind of interesting because, like, I watch multiple. Uh, I watch different types of like competitive streams, and like you see, like Pro League where. They don't get that. They don't get to be able to see chat anymore. Is uh, mm. you know, obviously it's just a bunch of. Sometimes it's negativity flowing out. Sometimes it's just times like this where it's just repeated copy pasta, and it just catches you off guard and really just starts to make you laugh. Then you got like other like I know some uh, fighting game streams. They'll they'll still acknowledge chat. They'll still read it from time to time, mm. especially between matches because the setup takes up quite a bit between each match and the the difference that I've like seen is quite interesting because some of them feel a little bit more live and relaxed and the other ones just have to feel super professional and kind of a little bit more uh not the right word for this because i feel like i'm going to use the wrong word and offend people i guess a little bit more tense or something i don't know Oh my god, I can't tell if this is ISU's fans or if it's Tennessee's fans. I know I saw earlier like people saying everybody here is from ISU, right? But like... <laughs> Shrek! <laughs> Not more Shrek! <laughs> Looks like the round won't be starting here. This is, this is making it really hard to like also observe at the same time because I want to pay attention to who's getting the kills, but like... The but Shrek! But Shrek! <laughs> but Shrek! Can chat just like stream to us via text to the entire Shrek 2 movie? Yeah, this is now, uh, the entire cast is now just text to speak Shrek as, uh, both teams play. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear, like, uh, every time Shrek says donkey, an ash charge will bl explode. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop entry fragging for five minutes? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy actually it, i just realized are they all playing on blue bar here <laughs> oh yeah it is the third site they will be playing on blue bar actually this site 
and actually blowing up the entire wall, playing a uh, nice Reno uh, game. Right, as you can see, the sword evasion is out of shotgun bullets entirely. And it looks like Sophia will be going down early in the round. Right, I just saw. I, this is more of an in joke. What did Kelbrick's? She muted Leary for ten minutes. <laughs> what? Okay, never mind. That, that that's, that's not relevant. Nobody else is gonna know that name. Yeah, free Leary. <laughs> <laughs> As a uh, Helix just trying to make his mind. Is that a belt camera in the top? Of I'm gonna hope not, cause he's also playing as Ash. Or not Ash, sorry, uh, IQ. So he should be able to catch it if it wasn't. Looks like he will be getting a little bit of shots onto the Echo there, hurting him a little bit, and uh, actually bring the LMG to Ooh. the fight and sandwich taking down Aaron, trying to play from above. Looks like Aaron actually saved uh, Antidote right there, giving him the opportunity to run away from that uh, peak from above. And all sort of Asian, I need to get one of these SMG 11 kills from sort of Asian because he's doing such a good job with that recoil that he's gotten several kills with the SMG 11. It's yeah, insane. Like Maybe may bringing the shotgun, but you still like, you can still see like when he plays some of the close quarters angles, he's still more confident in taking the SMG 11 fight rather than taking the shotgun fight. Looks like he. Oh, yeah, there it is. He swaps right over the SMG-11. Gonna take the quick peek, gets the close shot onto Bearpaw. And so he takes the above uh, above sight for his team, so to give them a little bit more relief. And kind of uh, make sure they're not stressed. We'll be opening oh. the window. IQ will hear it and start preparing him in advance. He looks getting the headshot on Sword of Asian. Behind the desk will be the Alician peeking over and Major just uh, finishing out round three. Major, always nice. so aggressive, very aggressive. Even if, even when it's like the last few seconds, where most teams would go like, no, 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 don't peek, don't peek. Yeah, at this point, I, I feel like he has like that really calm music on the background, and he's just he's just he's he's, he's having a, a moment here as he's just popping off here, getting kills left and right, and I think he probably still is probably one of the top breakers for his team. I'm gonna see here a kitchen, actually a kitchen hold, and Fuse getting hard picked in. It's gonna be interesting to see how ISU is able to manipulate Fuse and be able to like, cause pressure and havoc for the attacker or defender. Sorry, especially with the uh, actually uh, this time they didn't decide to bring the both double Ma Echo and Maestro setup. So it is just gonna be the Echoes kind of sitting more on camps, moving them around and trying to get a little bit more intel. Oh. Hmm. This kitchen. It's it's interesting to me because like Coastline is historically a defender's uh, defend. Sorry, I keep saying defender because most maps are defender. Is an attacker map. Like you have direct access to every single site from a single door. You don't need to go through any big uh, rooms in order to get to site. You go in through one window. You go in through one door, and you're in. Yeah, for sure. This map is very open. Even for like a roamer, you're able to just rotate in like almost. I think when I say at all times, you're able to rotate into three different directions. So you always have, you almost always have an out, and unless you kind of like sandwich yourself a little bit too much, you kind of have free roam here. So it's definitely a very open map for the attackers as well to manipulate that. And you take that into their own advantage. And it looks like they will be doing an initial uh, opening in the floor to maybe even catch someone. Actually, it looks like they will be trying to catch somebody as they open the uh, window from, as they will be able to hear it from that hole. And then immediately get that C4 blown up. And Nguyen starting to already work uh, kitchen window, putting a little bit of pressure onto the defenders. As uh, Detective Derek is still getting into position from the, on the other side of the map. Airpaw's possibly going towards the bathroom, but he doesn't have a... Uh... Breach charge, some. Oh, okay, so he's going to repel instead. Looks like the reverse repel onto service side. A little bit of orthodox from I seen from a uh, fuse, but I'm interested to see how he's what he's going to be able to pull out here. As uh, sandwich is just lying down on the staircase, waiting for that IQ to just uh, push it into. I think he will definitely hear the drone and might be able to see it. Actually, going to get hurt a lot as Chuck is able to just take down Detective Derek with the headshot. Peeking again. Looks like that. See it right there. The Desert Eagle suppressed damage. Just 
he was not able to hear where the bullet was coming from, even though the ping was on his body. Oh. And doing with a 50 caliber bullet as he will get taken down by Kenna Inuyen, who used the supersonic hearing to be able to hear where the silencer was coming from and able to get the refrag. Enrich is still alive despite taking so much damage. He took damage from front door and now he's stuck in the penthouse having to contend with... I cannot... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember how you say New that! Yin. New Yin. I feel like at okay. this point, I, like even if I don't know who you're talking about, I, I just guess. It's always New Yin. <laughs> not New Yin. New Yin. Ah! And like, Sandwich got him. New Yin. <laughs> oh my lord. It looks like, oh yeah, here it comes, the blood of goo mines as he is opening up every entrance for the attackers to just feel tempted to go through. As he's gonna hide himself inside bathroom there. Oh, risky, Helix gets because, one. Because uh, all the options. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, Helix is gonna be taking down Sword of Asian outside 1v2 now as he takes down Major. No diffuser and the lesion knows that things oh, come are gonna on. be a little bit tricky for him. You don't throw these, you don't throw these, this is a round in the bag. 30 seconds on the clock. He's going to have to make a play soon. Looks like he will be repelling onto VIP balcony, trying to push in from there. Me checking his VIP side, seeing the Valcam, knowing he actually is also spotted out a little bit. Trying to fumble a little bit on the repel there, but it won't matter. Is uh, Sandwich just waiting patiently. Oh my god. Just He's going to let him pick up the, the fuser. Yeah, Look he's going to hear all the goos, and then immediately here it comes, and... Oh. Wait. There. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Wow, okay, I thought there was enough goose there to kill Helix. Yeah, actually, Helix did get the shot onto uh, Sandwich there, finishing him off, and then unfortunately wasn't able to pull out the goo mine in time because he was out of time and really didn't have too much of a choice. That's. That was actually kind of karmic. I hope that Helix feels good about at least getting the kill on Sandwich right there, um, getting revenge for dying a, a, a split second later. Yeah, for sure. He's able to just get that uh, goo mine kill, which is always satisfying to get because, I mean, whenever your trap gets a kill in your gun, it's you feel happy because you know your your traps are you're starting to put in the work there. You know why I love having um three screens? Why so? Um, I can keep an eye on chat on one. I can keep an eye on the game on the other, and then I can keep an eye on memes on my third. Wait, isn't chat the memes though? Both are memes. <laughs> um, but as you'll see, I'm observing casting and also making sure that chat doesn't get too rowdy. And yet, I still found a meme of. <laughs> you should just look at it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, actually, does that say nom? I what? actually can't tell what that says. What? The nom or die was. I can't tell. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah, that, that one might be a little bit too dank for me. I don't really know the significance behind that too much. Uh, <laughs> looks like we will be seeing the setup going here from uh, Tennessee Tech as they will be defending down. Uh, it seems to be Hookah there. This is... In the return, the Desert Eagle Suppressor. Sandwich going for the impact grenade, waiting patiently for his teammate to walk right past. True, tr uh, truly patient play there, as uh, some people would just full blown throw it and uh, <laughs> they don't hit anybody. I probably would just throw Me it. Being what? Yeah, I definitely would have just threw it. <laughs> <laughs> no way I'm waiting, it's their fault, they shouldn't have been there. I mean, we've already discussed uh, the fact I personally don't play this game competitively. Because you you're like yeah you kind of drain like a bot as you as no, we were no 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 let's get the words right I I very much did say that Lily was uh, a thousand times better than you at at uh, T Hunt. Mm. <laughs> That's all she plays though. No, she doesn't play any PVP, which is weird if you own Siege and you don't play casual. Yeah. Well, we gotta hunt the the terrorists. Come on. <laughs> We need to hunt every, like other people. Make a hunt terrorist. This is mu much more fun of a time. You're See, not... Sandwich agrees with me, nodding his head up and down. <laughs> he knows. All right. <laughs> you can see Nuyen uh, catching that goo mine right on the windows. They actually are able to push into VIP and penthouse side. Let's so we're gonna start now. They actually can control a minute forty-five. This is looking pretty good for the attackers. This is not. 
to uh, you know late on time as some of the rounds have been turning out to be. And it looks like they will be droning out exactly where that Valkyrie is. And it looks like IQ will be on the other side to tr try to see if it could do something about it. Fortunately, IQ no longer has the frag grenades to just chuck it right across. And Chuck will instead chuck his uh, C4 right at the IQ instead. Ooh. Looks like will be doing 99 damage to the IQ. And trying to get shots as uh, IQ is trying to peek in slowly. But seeing the shots go left and right and knowing he has 1 HP. This is a losing battle. This is a losing battle unless he gets that headshot off. The cam gives him Valkyrie all the information she needs for when Helix is going to push in. And Chuck just needs to land a single bullet to end this fight. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you see here, Valkyrie not no longer deciding to peek in. Instead, just waiting for Helix to just walk in and immediately catch him off guard. And Helix trying to try to start to figure out if the uh, Valkyrie is still there or not. And Detective Derek will be taking down Sandwich, as Sword of Asian will be taking down Nuyen with the SMG 11 again from this close range area. Look like there's anybody else near sort of Asian. So let's see if we no. They believe Helix has rotated away. No, he's still here, and he's using the jackal pings to try and catch out Chuck. But Chuck behind the couch comes around, lands that a headshot actually onto Helix as Major finishes off Detective Derek. It's now a four v two, and the fight is gonna go over. VIP, be over at VIP as the the fuser's right there. Chuck gets bear paw, and sort of Asian takes down Air a Aaron. Yeah, for sure. Asian just actually all of uh, Tennessee Tech there just really uh, holding off and really showing a dominant display in defense here. Five zero again, and at this point, I would say probably a little bit more demoralized. But as you can see here, kill line wise, they're not too far off from each other, so they could probably use that bit of momentum that they're picking up off each kills per round to kind of bring themselves back and just. Uh, get themselves some rounds. It's interesting that this map, there isn't anybody on Tennessee's uh, team that's has an overwhelming amount of kills. It seems like it's a lot more shared. Like the pool is a lot fair. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna six pick so... away from my Astro. Actually, kind of interesting too, especially on Sunrise Blue Bar, because that's a site that I would think you'd want to bring more ACOG. What? Looks like the, the meta warden is coming the to meta. play. The meta is coming out. As you can see here this on is... the attacker side, there is a bra uh, there is a, a mention of a Ying, and now instead of getting the full uh, sight flash, the warden will just walk right through the flash bangs. <laughs> now from the fires, rise from the ashes, and kill everyone. Oh lord, the, he, this is why you ban Warden. You know that he's the meta, and you know that he's just gonna take games and take and kick names. And not only that, <laughs> but look, he's he's like destroying people with a suit on. Like this guy is dressed to impress here. Look how he Absolutely runs. Absolutely killer. Yeah, like you know, he doesn't care about form. He's ready. Gun up. Defend the president first. He's a predator. Look at that. You know, he doesn't need he doesn't need two hands to carry that gun. He just needs one. The actual definition of an absolute unit right here as he's running over trying to protect his team the, the entire presidency of his team <laughs> with the suit on. The, you, have you ever tried running with a suit on? That ain't Yes, easy. I have. I have. You rip your pants. You rip your pants. <laughs> you literally have to take small strides. This man, he got that. Yeah, as you can tell that's that fitted suit. And Chuck Showing the powers of the spawn peak for, through unexpected means, getting the early kill on Detective Derek. Smoke trying to take in the full prowess that is Warden hiding over there as Major getting ready that lean as uh, he's roaming on the other side of the map now. Warden just playing nice and safe as uh, I, a Ying not knowing what to expect before the Warden is able to see through all those Ying grenades. And looks like the defender or attacker is starting to drone out now, trying to see if they can find exactly how stylish this Warden is. Looks like the Echo as well, move, repositioning after he is able to get the into office team, hearing that they're kind of more heavy side onto the uh, Sunrise bar here. Warden just playing a little bit passive and making sure that he's not overextending or doing anything too crazy because he That's doesn't a second need to kill from Truck. 
Yeah, Chuck actually getting the second kill into Aaron with uh, who is the Jackal, making his life actually tremendously easier too. <laughs> Here it is. Oh! Thinks he's flash, but unfortunately he's not. But it looks like he will get headshotted instead. And then Sword of Asian taking down Helix, Bearpaw taking down Sword of Asian, Chuck taking down Nuyen, and then Drown goes to uh, Tennessee Tech all Where in was... one fell swoop from Antidote getting the headshot onto Bearpaw. He was there the entire time. I think he also shot the Ying from that position, didn't he? I think he might have. Yeah. No, 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 no. He didn't. He didn't. He had one kill. He this was his only kill that round. Okay. Okay. It looks like he was able to just slip undetected by the attackers, hiding in a very, very, uh, what normally would be a bit of a risky spot, but instead ended up breaking out as he had the reinforcements and the deployment shield to kind of cover him. And the warden's suit was just so flashy that, you know, you got you to gotta peek that way first. Definitely. That was a 3k by Chuck last round, and I'm... I want to watch him a little bit more. Let's watch him a little bit more this, this time around. Oh, no. It looks like we will be a uh, match point here for Tennessee Tech. You know, somebody this... should, you know what it would, would be an interesting uh, study? Go on. The evolution of copy passes over a stream's length. Because, like, it seems that they've now grabbed on to things that, the, that Nightbot says instead. Yeah, like... It... There's some weird ones that, like, yeah, you don't, you use this character that you didn't even know existed. <laughs> you know like, who I blame? Even if you look at that Pepe laugh one, like, I don't even know what those characters are. But somehow, they're just in the system. Yeah. I feel like it has to be, like, something to do with, um, is it Braille? But that can't be right, because why would you have, to, like, you know, text input for Braille if you aren't supposed to be able to see it? Um, all I know is that there's a Unicode standard, and the Unicode standard implements so many emojis just because, like, Japan had them in their, um, phones. Yeah, you gotta universalize, you know. Yeah. Do, you, do you know why we have emojis in Unicode? Go on. Okay, so Unicode was supposed to be the standard that uh, unified every single alphabet in the world so that anybody in tech could just like put, put in what language they were in and then they would automatically have the characters. But then they went around to every country and got their uh, whatever they were using for their phones at the time or whatever they were using for the computers. But Japan, because they have hiragana, katakana, and all a whole bunch of different letters, Yeah. Uh, they, they needed a lot of memory to do it, so... Once they were done putting together all of their um, letters into their computers, they were like, oh, we still have some room. Um, do you just want to put like a smiley face in there or something? And then they did. Yeah, I mean, you know, what if, what if one day people just talk in web dings? <laughs> you never know. Web dings? Why not wing dings? I, can't, I actually don't remember. Is it web dings or wing dings? There's both. Oh, boy. Why am I not surprised? Is Oh, that nice was show. a nice shot. <laughs> kind of not surprised either by the hip fire. Not hitting the ADS in the corner. Masterful shot from uh, Helix there. Oh, Detective is just playing blue and blue bar. And for a second, I thought the defenders were attackers. So it was a good looking thing. Amazing what happened. But Sword of Evasion will uh, keep my expectations going with uh, Nuyen getting taken down. As he is playing on the window, upside down repel, and Bearpaw will be taking down Chuck with the headshot sandwich on the window. Just getting ready to get the smoke as he's on the, the smoke full vibe stairs. The smoke is coming out pretty early there, and Sword of Asian is going to find his second headshot onto a second kill. And just going to keep this reverse repel. Just really not letting... Oh, getting shot from... Oh, Helix below out. in Sunrise. And I think he's going to get... Yeah, it looks that... like IQ is going to try to take him out in response. Shots going back and forth. None of them are connecting on both yeah, sides. Going to pick up the diffuser now. Start to just retreat as he realizes that uh, Helix probably got a little bit more of a help. As you can see, the cool vibe stairs from Smoke is definitely being held. So if he were to go down, it, it almost instant refrag would uh, ensue. Things looking a little bit more harder for the attackers here as well as there is three. It is now down to a 3 3 with around 40 seconds left on the clock. Oh. And it looks like as soon as I say that, immediately Detective Derek will take down the uh, sandwich. Sorry. And things. Oh, 2v2 as uh, Antidote taking down Detective Derek right back. And he's going to be pushing over from VIP side, flashing as uh, the 
I, sorry, Totokubi gets the plant off. Smoke kind of just hiding behind here. And oh. We'll get the shot onto Major. This can be big for the defend or the attack. Uh, sorry, the defenders here. But instead, it is big for the attackers as uh, Entino is able to get the refrag. We'll give out uh, his position a little bit as they will be able to see that he was in VIP through the five seconds of a flash. And we'll instead decide to sprint right past Flashbang's going out trying to distract and stop the plant from going off. Or if he's <gasps> going off, can you use sound? Oh no no! No, he's tricking oh, it. Oh, he's losing time here. Unfortunately, Man. Antidote will catch it out, taking round seven for Tennessee Tech. Very close couple and uh, rounds uh, here and there, but uh, fortunately, Tennessee Tech was just able to flawlessly take the whole uh, set, and very well played on both teams. But fortunately for ISU, uh, Tennessee Tech will be taking the set. And also important to mention here, congratulations to Tennessee Tech Gold. Just for uh, from that one alone, we'll actually qualify them for playoffs, and they will be moving on into the playoff rounds and being able to fight a lot more fun fights with the strategies they are bringing. And just getting things a little set up here is uh, yep, you know. Just Pretty much it got the fun of uh, observing and casting at the same time. A little bit of fun. And uh, Tennessee Tech really just showing throughout rounds that they kind of they, they know what they're doing. They're just really comfortable. And as you can see from time to time, they're just really like kind of relaxed and not really feeling any nerves in this match. As, uh, even first map, you can see uh, Major just dropping in straight from Skylight with them. Not that much too, uh, not too hard of a care in the world about the consequences. Just running immediately, getting two kills. Just a really confident display from them in general. Trying to see if we are actually going to get an interview from. Uh... Yeah, just trying to see if we are getting an interview from <clears throat> Tennessee Tech, but it doesn't seem like anybody's replying to me at the moment. So, is that just going to talk about what went well, what went. Oh, wait, hang on. All right. Sandwich coming in. Um, just keep talking. <laughs> All right. So we will be getting Sandwich in for an uh, interview coming up in the next couple of seconds. Just, uh, you know, I got to make sure that uh, he's ready. He gets in the channel and all that shenanigans. And uh, probably try to figure out some questions in the meantime, too. Well, there is, you know, a bit of obvious ones as the as you can see throughout the entire time just the confidence that tt was able to show and the comfort especially well with the lead that they were able to take not dropping a not dropping a single round on that on that set like be able to ask like you know uh their mindset going in and at the end of it you know with the word and pick if it was just for the ing or they just at that point were trying to have fun or whatnot and give... what? I'll go ahead and give sandwich. Uh, we're gonna be talking a sandwich. Second, because there are too many dang rooms in this. All right, three, two, one. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hey, hey, what's cooking? Not much. So, um, uh, that was a pretty overwhelming win by Tennessee Tech. Mind if I ask, what's the average uh, rank on your squad? Uh, I think three of us hit plat three for the first time this season. Oh, okay. Uh, sorta Asian and Chuck have hit up to plat two, maybe plat one. So we usually hang around gold one, gold two area. Okay. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. You guys have secured a place in the playoffs. Uh, that announcement is going to go over out over our Twitter uh, in a little bit. Um. Do you understand how playoffs are going to work? I'm just going to roll with it. We just got to play, you know. Oh, yeah, no you just, you just see the bracket. It says we fight these people. You just fight them. Figure it out after. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So is there any particular um, prep you guys did for Cafe? Because that was um, a lot of good defense. No, sorry, a lot of good attack rounds coming out from you guys. Uh... In my opinion, since Cafe is so new, a lot of teams are still kind of scared of it. And But, you know, they're at that awkward point where they're somewhat comfy, but still 
scared. And so attack is pretty easy because it's not easy, but it's a lot easier to just force your way into sight than it is to cover every angle that you may not know of. Yeah, we definitely saw a lot of that coming out from uh, Major, who would just literally drop into third floor with no fear, no bars hold, held, just trying to get uh, any entry frags that he could on the third floor. That That's just him in every game. We just tell him to... <laughs> he's like a dog, you know? You point him in a direction, tell him to go, and he does his thing. What What about Coastline? It's 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 historically more attacker's headed map but it seems like you guys had a good handle on the strategy coming out uh surprisingly coastline is one of our newer maps we picked it up in a another league match i don't remember which league but i'm not gonna say it don't worry uh, <laughs> we don't mind and i think we've played it like three times so far and it's just roll a lot of it's just roaming honestly you know you see most pro teams just have one person on site and roam. And that's just backing each other up on the roam, you know, getting ready for the refrag, getting ready to do all that, you know? Yeah, for sure. I gotta ask, uh, between the two maps, because I, if I am correct, uh, Cafe was your map pick. Uh, did you feel like Coastline was going to go a little bit... Uh, you know, because... Sorry. The first map was, like, really uncontested, just uh, you guys were just dominating. Did you feel when you were going to the second map, things were going to have a little bit of a shift? Or, and especially with the, as you mentioned before, the low amount of experience you guys had on the coastline. Uh, I felt both ways, if that makes sense. Because on one hand, uh, I'm not too comfy on coastline. And I was really expecting someone to jump out and get me, you know, shotgun from nowhere. But on the other hand, it was just sort of watching them play and learning what we could get away with, basically. Because I, yeah, I think it was on Cafe where I just sprinted up with Valk or how uh, Sword of Asian was holding Hatch and Mira kind of whiffed on a couple shots. It's just those little things and learning and getting more confidence. Yeah, you definitely could see it. And I know that you mentioned a Major basically, you know, is a dog that just goes in, gets the frags, and gets out. But at the same time, it he just, just from your later rounds in Cafe, it seemed like you guys were a lot more relaxed with just taking the the third floor earlier and earlier, mm. and it, it, it that was just a it, how well practiced is just that take from third floor. Uh, take from third floor. It's just a lot of chemistry, I think, and a lot of teams don't. They'll have one or two roamers where. I personally think they should have more because it's a good waste of time. And uh, just the team chemistry we have is, uh, you know, two people drone for two more, you know, the usual stuff. And it's just a reliable way to pinch them. And yeah, uh, we do basically the same things every time. Usually go third floor, pressure downwards, maybe yeah. bakery, stuff like that. Oh, Let's hope that that chemistry earns you guys a uh, a good route through the playoffs. Hey, um, fingers crossed, you know. Got any more questions, Keldev? Or yeah, I'm all out. You're all out. Yeah. Okay, then that's probably gonna be it for us tonight. And I haven't done a single spot for Rogue Energy, our sponsor. Um, do if you go. Uh, do I need to put a sponsored message for you, or? You can just do you know what the code is? What's the code? Code is CEA. Gives you 10% off on Rogue Energy when you buy online. Rogue Energy is great. I'd feed it to my kids, you know. <laughs> if I had them, I'd support them. You know, Just wake go, up in the go buy some, you know. Can't be bad for you. Isn't that the organic stuff? Shh. Uh, let me go check the and guidelines. Back to our yeah. boss. Have a good night, y'all. <laughs> All right. It's definitely the good stuff. I guarantee you that part. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's going to be it for uh, us tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. And finally, we got a Tennessee Tech stream out. God uh, bless. Thank you for hosting us. Yeah, no problem. Have a good night, everyone. Good night.